It's amazing to see, the, to go back and watch all the episodes and, and see the, the arc of the story and how emotional it's been. I, I was wondering if each of the cast members with us could talk a little bit about their characters and this journey you've been on with them and, and, and the changes that, that they've been through. You know, Starbuck has been through a lot. <laughs> and it, you know, they all have. Um, but I think what's very interesting about her is that she came back at the very beginning of this season um, having lost everything. She, she found out she died and she came back and that she's probably a Cylon. Um, this is what she's thinking, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> not, sorry. <laughs> I got my, my tips on what I was supposed to say and not say. I think I just broke the rule. Um, and so she's going through this emotional roller coaster of trying to act like who she thinks she should be acting like because she doesn't want people to suspect her. So she, in a sense, is there are there, nothing's crazy for her this season, which is hard for me because she's always been a loose cannon. But this year, she's just an emotional roller coaster. I, I'm. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, just because she's she's second guessing not only everyone around her but herself. She has no idea who she is. She's asking what what makes you who you are. If you believe that you're the same person you've always been, aren't you? And how do you convince people of that? And she's asking all those beautiful questions that Ron wants the audience to ask about human nature and what makes us. Um, I don't know, I just spoke for you, but um, <laughs> <laughs> makes, what makes you human, what makes you, you know, a person, one of us, I don't know. <laughs> and part of being human is dying, and I, I mean, talk about the exploration of death and, and what that means to the human spirit. I mean, Mary, uh, that's a phenomenal like, texture for your character. Truly is. Um, I, I, I feel that there was an opportunity, and still is, we're still doing it, but there was an opportunity in this role to um, go inside the depth of one's uh, subconscious and one's soul and wrestle with the demons. It's very rare to find a role where spirituality and, and, and religion is that much of it. How's, uh, it must be interesting for you. You probably get a lot of people walking up and expecting you to deliver revelations upon, uh, to them. <laughs> yes, and um, I say words that are written for me. <laughs> so, um, that, usually. Yeah, yeah usually. <laughs> She's the only one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I pretty much stick to the story. No, uh, yeah, that, that's actually probably the hardest question that could be asked of me um, in dealing with, with the show and with my character. Um, because although I personally uh, am very spiritual myself, it's, it's sort of my own personal thing, and um, I'm a bit of an agnostic. So um, all the the <laughs> somebody yeah. <laughs> um, so you know, I've actually that's one thing that that I have you know throughout the show, um, throughout the series, kind of in in some way gone to the writers quite a few times and said, okay, I don't know what I'm saying, and, and <laughs> who is the Cylon God, and what is the one true God, and, and you know, I don't know a lot of the references myself, so um, that's probably why <laughs> I, I stick to the script exactly, <laughs> because I don't know how to change it myself. No, um, uh, no I, think it's, I think it's amazing, and, and it's certainly been a challenge for me in that respect, and something that has... Um, on a personal level, made me open up my my views and horizons a little bit and say, okay, you've been closed-minded to everything before throughout your life, and maybe maybe you need to to open it a little bit and explore, and and that's something I, I plan on you know working on and, and doing. So maybe number six is helping me, Rowan. <laughs>